Hello guys and welcome back to a new video in which we will build something interesting. An SSTO, in fact my first ever SSTO in KSP2. So it has a very special design I think if you look at it because it's built with a mix of Mark II and Mark I fuselages. So it's something I have never seen and it's something we couldn't build in KSP1 really. So the basics for this design is the new Mark II nose cone you can see being used combined with the Mark I cockpit which gives this really cool looking lifting body nose if you, if you see it. So I'm, I'm really proud of the design but I have to address at first I didn't even want to make this video because I spent the whole Friday because Friday was a day off because of Easter night. I spent the whole Friday trying to build a space station and it just wouldn't work. Every single rocket got destroyed by the game. It wasn't my fault. I put the, the space station into orbit. It just deorbited itself. Like, I, I tried, guys, I tried. I tried so many things. I, I tried building an energy or two. It got destroyed by the game. I put it on the launch pad, it explodes. So I have no idea how should I, how I should build a space station. And originally I wanted to make a video about all the problems I faced. But since we will get a patch on Wednesday anyway, I will just wait until the patch and look what the patch does. Uh, hopefully it will fix all those issues because I, I, I can't be bothered playing this game with those issues. It's crazy. It's you don't even feel that it is early access, you feel like it's a tech demo, really. So many uh, bugs that I have faced, it's crazy. But yeah, and at the end of it I just thought, I don't want to have a complicated mission, I just want to do something easy that I'm sure it worked, spoiler, it didn't because there were so many bugs. So you will see a uh, bug in this video too, I, I couldn't get rid of it, but let's, um, let's show it when the time comes. So I thought I will just do something easy and build a little small scale SSTO with a cool design, like nothing can go wrong with that I thought and so I started out designing it and yeah, it's the moss is about 35 tons, even less, I think it's about 25 tons, so this here is really compact, it also has a docking port at the back for docking to space stations, but since my space station got deorbited by the Kraken, I couldn't really visit the space station, else I would have said, but you can thank the game for it. So the SSTO is almost done. I did a little redesign where I put the methane only tank in the middle and the methane oxidizer tank to the left and the right of the craft. It worked out better that way. The other way I had too little oxidizer because the efficiency of the rapier engine is rather limited in the game. Um, but yeah, then the wings uh, have a little bit of an overhaul, they look a bit different. And I also added some pre-wings, if this makes sense, you know, just to make it look a bit better. And uh, yeah, then adding the landing legs and after that we can start. Now I also tilted the wings a little bit to make takeoff easier and to give the, rock, uh, the space plane a little tilt, you know, it, it always wants to push up, which is good. But yeah. Else than that, adding the wheels. When you add wheels, it's always important to add them really close to the center of mass to let them act like a lever. Um, but yeah, nothing special um, with the wheels. We can get to the start and here we are flying, or not flying, rolling down a runway uh, and soon flying. So let's beat this footage up a bit, shall we? Here it is, sped up. So we could take off really, really fast at about 80 meters a second which is pretty good overall for just uh, such a high speed plane and then we can head up into the clouds. Now I first I got a bit of altitude but then my speed dropped so I pressed T two times uh, to kind of uh, lower the nose of the craft and then it got a lot of speed. Uh, really <laughs> it got it was insane. So first it slowed down I pressed T two times and then it got up to a thousand and into orbit. Yeah, at about 18 kilometers I had to switch to the closed cycle mode and here we are encountering the bug. So, no matter what I did, the SSTO would just freak out. 
I, I have no idea what happened. It will just start spinning randomly. You know, it's not the bug where it just starts spinning very, very fast, because that one has been patched, I never had that. Even a quick save couldn't solve it. I thought, oh, maybe it's just a, a little bit bugged. No, it just starts spinning. I've, I have no idea. But at this point, after spending like 10 hours trying to build a space station and everything being wasted all the time, I just couldn't be bothered re-recording it. I was done with KSP2 for the day. I just wanted to have some cool mission and this SSTO did it for me. Other than that, I, I really I couldn't be bothered anymore. But yeah, um, yeah, Bill could do a little EVA uh, looking at Kirby at his home and then get back into the cockpit again and then we can get to the landing after circling around Kirby. Uh, it was weird, even when I entered the tracking station, I couldn't really fast forward faster than I could with the craft. I thought they patched that. Mm, somehow it's still not patched. Yeah, then the very funny re-entry. Can we add a bit of ballet music, maybe? Awesome. Awesome, yeah, it, now it fits. Perfect. A dancing SSTO. Have you ever seen that? Hmm, not really. But yeah, <laughs> this re-entry was so shit, but... I, I, I couldn't fix it. So the craft would just spin itself around until it would be so uh, low in the atmosphere that the SAS couldn't mess it up. And the thing is, even when deactivating SAS, it would freak out. So if you have an idea of what this is, please write it into the comments because uh, I, I, I was at the end with my nerves. And yeah, first landing wasn't really good. The wing just fell off for some reason. So let's quick load and try this a second time. Here we are. And this landing will be the final landing. It will be a buttery smooth landing with no casualties at all. So, here we are coming in slowly, um, yeah, killing off velocity or speed. Yeah, we kill off the speed to keep the velocity and slowly get towards the runway with a little bit of engine burning here and there. And then it is time to get towards the landing. It is time to land. And here we are touching down beautifully like if that isn't smooth i don't know what is but yeah with that i hope you liked this video even though it was a bit short but i explained why so see you in the next one